Last night, Lily and I grabbed a shopping cart and shopped a special sneak peek shopping event along with some other shoppers. And we got a firsthand look into this brand new store. As you can see, the store itself is really big. Everything is so open and well lit and very inviting. We found it to be a really pleasant shopping experience. As we walked along, everything was easy to find. The merchandise itself was clean, in great shape, and ready to be uh, reused or upcycled, come home with a new owner, all of these things had plenty of life left in them. We really felt like it set itself apart from some of the other thrift stores we have shopped at in the past. They have everything from books, which there's a nice deal going on the books, buy four, get one free. So Lily made out like a bandit with the books. They had a great selection of small appliances, everything from toasters to coffee makers to popcorn poppers, you name it, they had it. I'm sure this won't come as a surprise to many of you, but Lily and I had no problem filling up our cart until it was literally overflowing. So I wanna take a second and just show you all of the treasures that we ended up bringing home. Lily is my cowgirl and equestrian extraordinaire so she always has at least one pair of cowgirl boots in her closet we picked up this gorgeous pair of cowgirl boots and bought a size up from her current size so when she grows out of the boots she's wearing now these are gonna fit her great these cowgirl boots cowboy boots these were only $2.99 there's a lot of great stuff in this picture um, as you can see, Lily definitely made out on our shopping trip. She came home with a bunch of goodies. In the top left-hand corner is a brand new, never open American Girl craft kit where she can make her own, kind of like a mirror slash message board. And that was $6.99. I picked up a set of weights for my exercise endeavors. They were $2.99. Lily got five different books. One's American Girl. Four are Junie B. Jones. She loves those books. The books were $1.49 each for children's chapter books, but you get a free one when you buy four. So for $6, five books. Also for the kids, we got a brand new set of dry erase markers with an eraser and some uh, cleaner spray for the board. That was $1.99. They have a huge dry erase board in the playroom that they love to draw on, so that'll be perfect. Landon got some awesome digger dumping construction vehicles. Uh, I think there's a bulldozer and a dump truck in there, $3.99, and he has been playing with them all morning, so well worth the $4. I picked up a huge pack of ribbon. A lot of it looks brand new for $3.99. I love using that, um, my different DIY crafts that I make for gifts. Uh, they're really fun to tie up the finishing touch with a pretty bow or ribbon around it. And then finally in the lower right hand corner I found this awesome looking case. It looks brand new. It was $4.99. It is just kind of a like a cool, looks like it could be a makeup kit or some kind of carrying case. I am going to vinyl it up and um, use it to store my GoPro and all of my GoPro accessories. So that was a cool find. 
You know I'm a sucker when it comes to gorgeous glass. I love glass jars. I love them when they're clear, when they're colorful, when they're quirky, when they're oddball sizes. I love them. I love them for crafts. I love them for making gifts and putting them in there. I love them for making centerpieces. Ugh. So, yes, definitely came home with several jars. The three in the back were 99 cents each. And then the uh, four miniature jars in the front, it would work great for favors or some other little, some other little knick-knacky item. The, I got the pack of four of those for $2.99. The small appliance section was awesome. I came home with a toaster that is in fantastic condition, $3.99. That will work great in our camper. And then I also got this small crock pot for $4.99. It's so clean inside. It doesn't look like it's ever even been used. And I love when I'm hosting holidays or parties, I always have the crock pots going. I have crock pots in, you know, every size. And I only have one of the smaller ones. And I like to use that for a warm dip. So usually I have to choose either like a spinach artichoke dip or a buffalo chicken dip. Um, I have to just make one because I only have one crock pot. So now I have two small crock pots and I can I can expand my dip offerings at our parties. So that'll work great. All right, where are my fellow 80s kids? Because this one is likely to take you back down memory lane. I saw this Fisher Price medical kit in the vintage, you know, older toy section and 6.99, the case is in fabulous shape. The toys inside don't even look like they were played with, like maybe barely played with. $6.99 just to have this piece of nostalgia back in my house. My kids can play with it, have fun with it. Can you believe all of these treasures I've shared and I haven't even hit upon the clothing yet? We thought that Savers had such a great selection when it came to clothing for the whole family. These are some dresses we brought home. The one on the left is for me and I never get clothes when I go thrift shopping. I'm always looking for the kids and buying them stuff, but this time, I lucked out. I found an awesome dress. This is by Chaps. It's the one on the left. And um, this is $7.99, which will go great this summer. I think paired with maybe a jean jacket. I think it'll look great. The other two dresses we bought for Lily. The one in the middle fits her personality to a T. It is blue, which is her favorite color, and is covered in unicorns. This dress is by Old Navy and it was only $2.99, so that was a no-brainer. The one on the right is a little bit more than I like to spend when thrifting for the kids' clothing, but it's by Gap Kids. It's covered in sequins. As Lily put it, she could be a human disco ball, and she really could in this dress. It's in impeccable shape, and it will work great for anything from a banquet to father-daughter dance. It's a gorgeous dress. And it's also a little bit big on her right now, so she can grow into it. This dress was $9.99. Sweatshirts. Sweatshirts are my weakness. I love a good sweatshirt. And when mom loves a good sweatshirt and dad loves a good sweatshirt, the kids love a good sweatshirt. So I couldn't help myself. The prices were right. Um, actually, the top corner in this picture is a jacket by Marmot, which is a really high-end, kind of like Columbia-type brand. It is in pristine condition. I looked them up online while I was shopping at Savers and they go for $65. I picked this one up for $3.99 for Landon and it's gonna look great. Um, the other kids sweatshirts, there's a Gap Kids sweatshirt in there. There's a Flyers sweatshirt. There are two Under Armour sweatshirts. There's a plain gray sweatshirt on the right hand side for Landon, which I could personalize. I could do something with vinyl, I'm not sure, or I might just leave it plain. And then the Gap sweatshirt at the very top. Um, these all ranged anywhere from like $2.99 to about $5.99. The Under Armors were $5.99 all the way down to that plain gray one on the right, which was $2.99. And again, they are all in great shape. No pilling, no stains, no tears, no fraying. They look great. The bottom, the gap on the left, and the Rutgers on the right, which my brother is a proud Rutgers alum. Therefore, I am a proud Rutgers sister alum. I picked up both of those sweatshirts for $5.99 each, and they will be perfect for our um, camping trips and our early spring, late fall horse shows when we're all freezing. 
so they were a great find. I never mind coming home with more sweatshirts. I just enjoy it even more when I've saved a lot of money. So there you have it. That was our trip to Savers Thrift in Willow Grove, opening this week. And the store, again, is located at 300 York Road in Willow Grove, really close to the Willow Grove Mall, also close to the Turnpike in Willow Grove. So I hope you'll check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you find there. And until my next thrifting adventure, thanks for watching.